Shauna Karish here. You know, one of the things I hear over and over, one of the biggest issues I, I seem to hear the most common, I guess, or one of the biggest ones, is trailer loading. I hear people all the time having horses having difficulty with trailer loading. So I figured it's high time we address trailer loading. <laughs> so, what, and, and kind of, this is something that really rings true because basically while I've been with horses for 18 years, at SeaWorld, we basically had a sort a type of trailer loading too. And so remember, I worked at SeaWorld for 10 years training the marine mammals. I trained sea lions, walruses, otters, uh, killer whales, dolphins. I trained them to do the shows and also to do husbandry behaviors. But one of the things that was part of their lives were, were different types of transportation situations. Um, one was like the otters. We would ask the otters to go in a little sky kennel from their home, and then we'd stage them backstage for the show. So they went into another little kennel. But that means you had to teach them to get in a kennel and let you, and have you let you shut the door on them. And it is it is just like horses not wanting to be in the trailer. It is the same thing. You know, the horse that gets in the trailer and then won't let you close the butt end in the back, you know, it's the same exact thing. The one foot in, but I won't let you stay there. It would be the same thing. The otters would go in, but they wouldn't let you shut the door. But eventually we got to the point, they had prehensile hands, the little otters do. Eventually they got to the point where like one of them, Norton would get in, he would get in and shut the door for you. Because <laughs> he realized that's when he's going to get reinforced. So we can certainly turn that about. And otters are really kind of skittish and nervous and short attention spans and much more difficult to train than horses. So if otters can do it, horses can. Another thing we used to do is teach the horses, <laughs> the horses, teach the sea lions to go for cart rides. And this is, I've always said, sea lions and wall and <laughs> Boy, sea lions and horses to me are very similar. The, the, to train them feels very similar. Just their, their response, their, their nervousness, their you know, building up trust from a little guy to, they're, they're just very similar. And so what we would teach the, the sea lions to do is we teach them to get on a golf cart. It was part of the show where you'd teach them to ride on a golf cart, but then, and then they, we'd do a thing out in front of the audience. And then another thing we'd do is take them for cart rides in the park and take them off do something in a new area, then back to the cart. So it is, it's kind of the same as taking a, a horse to a strange place where you get them off and you need them to get back on. And so it was, it was kind of the same, it, it just was very, very similar. Anyway, so I've taken all that experience with SeaWorld, the positive reinforcement training, and taken that and applied it to the trailer loading with horses. And it is super effective. I've had tons of people tell me and write me letters and say this was the thing that this was the only way they tried everything and this was the only way that worked with their horses is utilizing the positive reinforcement training now positive reinforcement training what makes it so different than traditional training is there's actually something in it for the horse you know you think about through traditional training why would your horse necessarily want to get in the trailer and go somewhere it, you know just there's not necessarily something in it for them. You know, they may be avoiding, you know, things that happen on the outside, so they think, I just better get in the trailer because it's safer in here than out there. Who knows exactly what they're thinking? But by utilizing the positive reinforcement, you can change their mind. You can get them to, one, not only go in the trailer, but to stay in the trailer, to like being in the trailer, and to actually load themselves in the trailer. And I think that that is... It's really important, and when you get that where they're making a choice to go in the trailer, it makes a really big difference when you get to a new place. They look at the trailer as something safe, something good, and a place that they will readily go. So it's really, really effective. You know, another thing that's really amazing about the positive reinforcement training too, I mean, not only is it really effective and the horses love it, they become invested in the training and interested in it, and they, they, they want to get to the, the, a good outcome as well. They want to learn how to solve the puzzle and how to get reinforced. But another great thing is they remember it for a long time. I even had Mint, he was gone for seven years, and he came back and he remembered, I just, I even have a, a, a video on YouTube about it, but he came out and after seven years, he remembered everything to a T. So that is also a great thing. By utilizing the positive reinforcement, you really get them solid about the loading and, and remembering even as time passed. I mean, because let's face it, sometimes we teach them about trailer loading and then if we don't go a lot of places typically, which is common for a lot of people, it, you know, we don't get to it. And then all of a sudden we need to move or we, we need to take up to the, you know, the, the clinic or something. And 
they won't get on the trailer. With the positive reinforcement training, they remember a lot of that training. It's very easy to bring the tools out, remind them, and get them right back to, to where they were. So it's a very good habit to have, even if you don't plan on being somebody who trailers your horses very often. It is something that I think every horse should know, just in case it might be the case of an emergency, or, or who knows what, you know, it's just, it's just good practice. Anyway, so it's, it's an easy thing to do. It, I've had lots and lots and lots of people. I mean, there's so many good stories. I can't even just pick one to tell you because it's been so highly successful for, for people of all levels. You know, there's people that are professional horse people that still, you know, just couldn't get through to this one particular horse to, to the backyard enthusiast, you know, the person who knows very little about horses. And each of them can get it so their horse, they can stand back, say, load up, <laughs> and the horse loads itself on the trailer. So there's, this has been one of the really successful, great, well, it's all been really successful, but this, there's been so many cases of it that it, it has been um, a lot of experience in this from, from a lot of people and a lot of letters and a lot of responses. So it's a great way to go. So no matter what your level, it'll work for you too. Um, now, the, and, and the great thing is, as you get through it, you also have a horse who starts to the whole training process actually starts to improve your relationship and improve your trust. It'll improve your leading skills. It will, it just, it, it, it improves everything. So it'll definitely help you out and you'll have a solid loader at any point in time. So what we've done is put um, a couple videos together, different scenarios, and I'm really excited to be, to have a chance to share with you the, this little video series. It's, it's a lot of people have been asking for it, so it's high time and I'm glad that we can be getting it out to you. Um, basically, in the first video, we have two, two videos or DVDs. The first one, we're going to cover the principles of, you know, how you're going to get started, what you're going to, introducing your horse to the trailer, what to consider in, in looking for a trailer, what to consider when r driving your horse in a trailer, um, as well as the, the steps to, to getting them to loading on the trailer, getting them to successfully be able to back off of the trailer safely and calmly, and then actually getting them to be closed up in the trailer, and then we go on to the shipping. So it's, um, it's a great way to go, and it'll cover it and answer a lot of questions. In addition to the, the, prime, the, the main DVD, we also have included a couple, a couple of fun things. One is, I found out Bugs, my horse, who was a mature horse, but he came to me and he's still very green and, and he came to me very, very suspicious. He had had some training that he didn't understand and it left him really worried about people and about, you know, all kinds of things. You know, if you just pull on him, he tends to go, what, what's the deal? So he had, he came to me very suspicious. Well, things were going great here. We hadn't really left the farm. Things were going great here. He was doing good, decided to take him to a show. I kind of forgot about trailer loading. That's my bad. And so went to load him in the trailer and realized, uh-oh, he doesn't know trailer loading. So it became a mission to get back and get him trailer loading. And so I show the series of four, no, it was eight, seven. <laughs> it was seven separate sessions and it was about 40 minutes total. So the first one was about 10 minutes and the next were between three and five, most of them just over three minute sessions. So, and they're spread out over months. So you have seven DVD or seven sessions that last about 40 minutes and it shows it kind of from start to finish. And there's, uh, and it's just kind of a fun DVD to see. I did it in a really casual way. You know, you just sit, wait, some I have helmet cam on so you can see it from his view or to see it from my view, some from his view. It was just, we just, it was really kind of a fun thing to do. So we put all that together so you can kind of watch him progress through that place. And then we also put on there um, uh, the uh, one about just kind of driving with them in the trailer and things that you can look for to help them get acclimated to the driving process and actually getting used to some starting and some stopping a little bit, just looking for relaxation and building up a good association with the driving part. And also we go over the ramp and loading and unloading and kind of some little things you can do to help that the, negotiating the ramp to become something that they're, they're solid with and something that they, they like to do because that's oftentimes what I find is real sticky point. They'll get in, then they're like, now I don't want to get out. And then I don't want to get in because I'll have to get out. So I uh, kind of covered that so you can make that all a seamless, smooth process in your horse will, before you know it, be a solid loader. Um, and so what we're going to do, um, we're going to for this week only, what we're going to do is um, 
have a special we're going to run. So it's kind of an introductory thing since this is a new DVD and I'm just really excited about it. So for the next week, we're going to run it at a $10 discount. So instead of being $43.97, it will be $33.97. So that's a great deal. You're going to have two DVDs there together to walk you through all sorts of things and get you started with the positive reinforcement training. So I'm really excited about that. And you know, I know you're going to like it so much that we're gonna give you a 30 day guarantee. If you get it and it, it doesn't work for you, you don't like it, whatever the reason may be, you can send it back, no questions asked. But I know you're gonna love it and I know you're gonna have your horse loading like a champ in no time. Anyway, so if you wanna get started, if you want to, you're the type of person that wants to have your horse just be that great loader, go ahead and hit that button below and that will take you to, to the next step. Anyway, enjoy getting your horse on target. Thanks a lot.